Welcome to Vienna. My name is Marie Pold and I'm the market manager for the US at the Vienna Tourist Board. I'm very sad I can't be with you right now, but fortunate for us, you can travel to Vienna right now. Today, I want to briefly tell you why it's a great idea to visit Vienna and what makes Vienna so special. I'll give you a total of six reasons for it. First, it's imperial heritage. Vienna was the main seat of the Habsburg family. Get an idea of the luster and the glory of the old times by visiting one of the 27 palaces and palais throughout the city. Secondly, Vienna is the capital of music. It's been home to composers like Mozart, Beethoven, Haydn or Strauss. And every night more than 10,000 music fans are treated to live concerts something you can simply not experience in any other city in the world. Third, Vienna is the city of art. More than 100 museums invite you to enjoy art and culture. These include important collections like the Kunsthistorische Museum, Belvedere or the Albertina Museum. What would Vienna be without its coffee houses and pastries? But also, did you know that Viennese cuisine is the only cuisine in the world that is named after a city. More than 7,400 food and drink outlets invite you to get to know Viennese cuisine. That ranges from Michelin star restaurants to an escargot farm to the truly popular uh, and famous sausage stands. Fifth, and that's actually a fun fact, um, Vienna is actually a very green city. Half of its space is green space and it really invites you to go cycling, hiking and swimming. So if you for example visit Vienna in the summer, you can jump into the Danube and refresh yourself or take a beautiful hike in the Vienna woods. And six, as I mentioned, Vienna is always worth a visit, no matter if you come in winter, spring, summer or fall, there's always something to do and seasonal highlights wait for you. So for example, in winter, make sure to visit the Christmas markets or attend one of the beautiful balls in Vienna. And in fall, make sure to visit one of the wine taverns and enjoy a beautiful glass of gemischter Satz. I hope I convinced you to come and visit me. If you come to Vienna, please make sure to get in touch with me. I truly want to make your visit and your client's visit special. And I hope I see you soon in Vienna. Bye. Hello, also from my side. My name is Markus Matemek and I'm the director of Sato Tours. And I also want to greet you, so I send you very best regards from Vienna, from our Canfro conference room, and we are very happy to assist you. Milly, come here. <laughs> we are a perfect team, and we are very happy to assist you guys. We will be very happy to get your requests and be able to help you with your trips. And don't worry, our office and our work is backed up for uh, almost 40 years' experience in the market. So we will be very happy to show you how good our work also can be. Look at this exotic place, restaurant. This is a unique place where we invite our groups to have dinner. And I am sure one of your incentive groups or your uh, FIT clients or special groups would love to be here in this place, to eat here the typical Austrian food and to have some good wine. Follow me to the big room. I'll show you, but just take a look at this. Come inside and take a look at all this place. So I am sure you will love to book this exclusively for your incentive. The place has many rooms, so we can make use of as many rooms as you need to. Come with us and travel with Ato in style. We are between the two twin museums, the Natural Science Museum. On the park, we have the Heroes uh, Square. And on the left side, we have the uh, um, History of Art Museum. 
come and visit with us this marvelous, wonderful city with wonderful and incredible architecture and classical traditions. Please come visit Vienna with us, with Sato in style. Travel with style. And travel with Sato. Bye-bye. Hello and welcome to Graz. My name is Suzanne and I'm working with the Graz Tourist Board. Today, I would like to introduce my hometown to you, Austria's second biggest city. You might not have heard about Graz. Innsbruck, Salzburg and Vienna are the famous cities in Austria, but sure, it is a place to explore. It is conveniently located between the two capital cities, Vienna in Austria and Ljubljana in Slovenia. It's just a two hours drive from both cities into Graz. Graz is well known for its beautiful historic old town. The historic old town ranks among the best preserved historic city centers of Central Europe and UNESCO recognized it as a world cultural heritage site. Once you arrive in Graz, make sure to climb up the Schlossberg. This is actually where I am at the moment. From here, you enjoy the best views of the old town and of course, you are close to our historic landmark, the clock tower. So Graz is full of history, of culture, and of course of music. We have festivals, we have museums, we have galleries, we have even our own opera house. But the city is not only old and historic. Just if you cross the river Moor that runs through the city, you come to the thriving districts of Lent and Greece. Here you find the creative lot, the hip bars, the restaurants, and our cool contemporary art museum, the Kunsthaus, which we nickname the Friendly Alien. And this is another reason why UNESCO declared us a UNESCO city of design. So we are both. We are contemporary and modern and young and historic and full of culture. But the best part about Graz is that we are a foodie's paradise. Austria declared us Austria's capital of culinary delights. And this is not so much about award-winning restaurants and de decorated chefs. No, it's about the products that grow around the area. So if you go for a meal in one of the numerous restaurants in the city, you can be sure that your food is not traveling long distances. And of course, it's a super laid back city. We're close to the Italian border and we love Italy. So we adopted their lifestyle. You will catch up with locals who enjoy the wine with friends, the food in the outdoor garden. So it's a super cool place to explore, to enjoy and to indulge into the culinary scene. So once travel is possible again, I'm very much looking forward to welcoming you in Graz with an open heart until then, stay safe and stay healthy with lots of love from Graz. in Vienna. My name is Peter Hossek. I'm the CEO of the Schönbrunn Palace Concerts, which take place every day in this wonderful venue. Before I tell you more about this, let's take a look. This venue, the Orangerie, was the original venue of the big competition between Mozart and Salieri in 1786. You might know it from the movie Amadeus. Of course, we adhere the COVID-19 measures to provide safe experience to our guests. 
In addition to our wonderful concerts, we offer a lovely dinner for groups in our palace restaurant and also for groups exclusive guided tours in the evening. There's no waiting, there's no queuing, we just open the doors and you walk through the beautiful rooms of the Schoenburg Palace. In the end of this short video, I would like to welcome you back in 2022 in our concerts and I'm happy to see you all again. Bye bye and have a great winter. The Belvedere is a World Heritage Site, a Baroque jewel and one of the world's leading museums. Especially during tough times, we are thankful and delighted to stay in touch with our partners and to share our joy of art, history and culture. In 2023, we will be celebrating 300 years of the Belvedere with a large Gustav Klimt exhibition. Looking forward to seeing all of you soon again. Take care and best regards.